Honorable Simon Chalugui, coming Secretary, Ministry of Cooperatives of Kenya. Mrs. Uh, Venusia Anoguera, Executive Director of International Coffee Organization. Ambassador Solomon Lutega, Secretary General of Inter-Africa Coffee Organization. Mr. Ami Hamza, Chairman of Africa Board. Juan Esteban, Chairman of World Coffee Organization, who are still here with us since Monday. Excellencies, Ambassador of Kenya, Ambassador of Tanzania to Rwanda, member of my court, representing your countries here, coffee lovers, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome once again to Rwanda. <clears throat> it's my pleasure to open the 19th Africa Conference and exhibitions on behalf of the Honorable Minister of Agriculture who is not in the country today. Rwanda is pleased to host Africa in these days. This conference theme, namely shared value for sustainable coffee industry, reflects these positions with which all responsible stakeholders should be animated. The coffee sector needs stakeholders who apply a holistic approach to the industry that makes profit to all actors through the coffee value chain. This conference offers a timely opportunity to, to pause and reflect. As many speakers have been saying here, we need to reflect on today's economic, environmental, social challenges that we are facing and we need to apply the lesson learned as we chart the way in the midst of growing coffee demand worldwide. Rwanda coffee plays a major role in the economy of our country. It contributes to foreign exchange earnings and to the monetization of our rural economy. In Africa, Rwanda produces approximately 20,000 metric tons of coffee annually, of which that's also Rwanda, of which more than 80% of Rwandan coffee is exported to foreign destinations such as America, Europe, and Asia. Owing to its importance, the government of Rwanda has put in place measures to ensure a supportive macroeconomic environment that fosters optimal and sustainable returns for our, our coffee producers, especially smallholder farmers who are at the backbone of our rural economy. This enabling environment also creates a robust coffee industry in Rwanda within 313 coffee washing stations and 17 coffee dry meals. This industry has also attracted prominent investors from local and international economic actors. Ladies and gentlemen, the global pandemic and the world economic crisis have highlighted a potential threat to both monetary value and sustainability of coffee value chain. This crisis, as you know, have increased the pressure on the cost of production, processing, and transportation of coffee to end consumers. For this reason, coffee prices at farm level should continue to keep up with the such market changes. And on this, I count on the role of Africa to advocate on that. I believe that equitable profit sharing is the most important pillar of sustainability of the coffee subsector. A forum of this nature offers a unique opportunity to create meaningful partnerships that will enable Rwandan coffee pro products to sustainably compete on the global scene. 
Rwanda Coffee has the reputation to be among the best in the world. It has been awarded multiple international awards, such as Best of the Best and the Coffee Lover's Choice from diverse competitions that involved multiple international brands from around the world. I think even Ambassador Solomon has mentioned some of the winners for the recent competitions. Such recognition emphasizes the efficiency of the Rwandan coffee value chain and its significant potential for consistent and continued growth. We are cognizant of the fact that African producing countries have a long way to go in promoting domestic coffee consumption, which would serve as a buffer against external market shocks and occasionally occasioned by crisis. As we strive to meet global demand, we also remain aware of the fact that designing local solutions to promote domestic consumption among producers is paramount. Indeed, it's also high time for Africa to tap into the opportunities offered through the Africa continental free trade area to promote intra-African trade in coffee subsectors. It is still a shame that you will see some countries in Africa, especially countries on the southern part of Africa, importing coffee from Brazil or elsewhere, countries from the north part of Africa importing coffee from Europe, and most of the time, maybe the same coffee that goes to Europe from Africa then comes back again to Africa. So then the continental free trade area of Africa will help solve this issue and make sure we, we trade. And as the Honorable Minister of Cooperative of Kenya said, we have good agroecological conditions to grow coffee. That means we can even feed ourselves in the coffee production. As Rwanda is concerned, as far as Vanek is concerned, we keep supporting our youth and women in the coffee sector. And we have already embarked on the long journey to rejuvenate all coffee trees to increase productivity. In these days, even over the past uh, five years, we have tried to establish a minimum price for cherries to make sure at least our farmers don't lose everything, though we still have a long way to go. Ladies and gentlemen, as I end my remarks, I would like to reiterate that ensuring sustainable economic growth and improved livelihood for our coffee producers is a major driver for con continued, continued and sustained sustainable investment in coffee production. This is what it means to have a shared value for sustainability. Thanks to coffee's unique nature and ability to connect people from diverse walks of life, a conference such as this one has the potential to create the right environment for valuable connections and partnerships. I would like also to take this opportunity to invite you, or participants, especially international delegates, to spare some time to visit Rwanda's various touristic sites during your extended stay among us. The land of Thousand Hills has uh, a lot to offer, including Rwanda's finest coffee that you are also invited to enjoy. With this, I, know, I now declare that the 19th African Fine Coffees Association Africa Conference and Exhibition officially open. And I wish you very fruitful deliberations. Thank you so much for your attention. <laughs>